Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Our Mellow. In the previous episode, things seemed to have went well, though did not end as well as they had started. And having done the premiere on the last couple of episodes, kind of made me realize just how lackluster my commentary has become in some of these videos. I'm going to try working on improving that, but yeah. Uh, as you can see, we're not going to be doing a Stranger Games this week because, well, there was no Stranger Game this week. I even checked. But I also figured, you know what? It's been a while since we've done Fury Friday, so why not? And we're already getting the game going. Nice. Ah, uh, what to go for? You know what? I'll play Silas. As usual, we'll take a Surrender by Ring with him and boost our wits. Playing against Fang, huh? That's... Yeah, that's gonna be difficult. But it is what it is. Okay, looks like I'm going second. Not bad. You dare come for my crown? Yeah, we dare, your highness. As we always do. Don't know why you're surprised by this point. Alright, what do we got? Uh, could go for a squire. Definitely not getting the spirit stone. Masquerade mask, however, could be very useful. Yeah, I'm going to try going for that. Plus, I could use the boost in wits. And having the first quest on the mountain immediately makes me regret not having the Celestite Ring, but so be it. Probably just going to make a straight beeline for the... For the dungeon... Crystallize is kind of useless to me. Alright, got some gold. Always good to get with Silas. Uh, ooh. Wait, if I only got... Hold up. I start with one. How do I have four? Because I know for a fact he starts with two. Ah, whatever. Probably just something that, as usual, I'm missing. I was thinking of equipping the Heavy Flail, and maybe I'll still do that, but... Kind of want to wait to see what happens next. What shall come this eve? Yep, big surprise. Thankfully, he's moving away, and hopefully I won't end up summoning another one. Though, as I say that, I've probably jinxed myself. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's no King's Garden nearby for me to attack for a bounty, which is unfortunate. But so be it. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Ooh, sweet. Two treasures in one turn. I will take that. And you know what? I'm going to spend one gold for this mouth moss so I don't get the health loss in the morning. 
Damn, that, that was a good turn. Only thing that could make it better would be getting the Reaper's Trident as well. Because that combined with the Bane Blade, ooh, killer combo. So I know I saw... Ah, there he is. Now let's see, my next quest is over there. Unfortunately, that means either going back through here, potentially hitting this, which would not be good, whether it be a Banish or a Rite of Wield. Then again, I don't have any Rot, but again, it could be a Rite of Wield. And I'm not sure if that one takes into account the Mountain Moss effect. <laughs> And what shall be law this day? Wait, what? Whoa, hold on. I didn't pick that. What just happened? I didn't even get to see the other one. Is that something new in Fury? In Fury Fridays? That is so weird. Oh, did anybody equip anything I missed? Wing boots. That that would be nice to have. So with the battle armor. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to hit the dungeon. Hope nothing bad happens, which it didn't. As a matter of fact, something very good happened. And then I'm going to hide out in the mountains. I'm still going to have to wait a uh, couple of turns, or endure a couple of turns in order to get to my quest, but so be it. Better than having to potentially lose against the Bane, and go through the two swamps. At least on here I have some extra defense if anyone tries to attack me. Right, Bang just died from a leech. Still nobody nearby I can take advantage of my hero power for. Because yeah, even if I had the magic for it, I wouldn't be able to play Wake of the Trees. Ooh, it's gonna attack me. All right, this will give me a chance to burn some cards. Which is something I'm gonna need. Okay, let's see. Burn the Crystal Eyes, burn the Emissary, burn the Warhammer, burn the Heavy Flail. You know what, burn Wake the Trees too. I'll hold on to Banished, because that could be useful either for getting someone away from me or getting me closer to a quest. Unfortunately, that is a massive drawback of the Bane Blade. It will sap away your life if you don't manage to kill your opponent. What? Are you serious?
Okay, I know Fury Fridays are meant to be quick, but not that quick. Eh, hell. I mean, if I don't go for this, he's just gonna try and take the king down, so I'm gonna play this Banish to get rid of him. And I'll equip this shield. Problem is that leaves the castle wide open for anyone to attack. Oh boy. Mercurio tried to take down Thane, but it didn't work. Or, no, wait, Thane went after Mercurio. And it's not like we can say it was an AI player who, you know, did that. Yikes. I mean, it's not going to be worth getting in there unless I can get a hold of some healing items. Even if I were to get a hold of a hot rod wine, it would kill me the second I use it. You know, I forgot to check what rings everybody has equipped. Yeah, turquoise. So, technically, I didn't... Well, yeah, actually, I would have. Because he goes before me. Because that turquoise grants evade everywhere, even the palaces. I think I actually had a one match that was, uh... God, what was his name? Oh, God, the one rat from the Usurpers. Can't remember it. Oh, well, he had an evade ring, got attacked in the palace, and was forced out. So, that turquoise ring, not all that good. Not even with the plus two to explode pool. So, no, no, and no. I can't really go anywhere either. I mean, that helped.
Except, unless I kill him, which it's not looking likely that I will, I'm gonna end up dead. Well, cross your fingers and hope he gets a lot of misses and we get a lot of attacks. Nope. Oh well, tis the price you pay when you use the Bane Blade. Okay, then. Hmm. How do I want to go about this? I could just do a straight shot up again. Which would work. Head for the quest, because it doesn't look like anybody's going for that open palace right now. Not that I blame them. Because this early in the game, no. Just, just new. Don't typically see Rubelite on Thane. You know, I normally only ever see that on, uh... On Fang. Close to dying. Okay, Mercurio, what are your plans? Ooh, treasure. What'd he get? Lucky. And he's in my way again. And he got another treasure. How lucky can one guy get? How much does he have? You know what? I'll go for the spirit strike. Okay, good. I was worried there for a second. And you know what? I'll burn the lightning strike, because I don't see myself being able to use it. Ah. 
one less than I'd have had him. That seems to be the case with him. I mean, don't get me wrong, evasion is good out here in the field, but never in the palace, because in the palace, unless you get very lucky, you're pretty much guaranteed to get attacked. Man, so many people are getting treasures from the dungeon these days. Ugh, the poppet. I think the only person who hasn't gotten any, any uh, treasure from a dungeon would be Fang. Speaking of which, what is he up to? I know he's dealing with apparel. Okay then, assuming Mercurio doesn't try to kill me, which he very well w could, then I'll head straight for the quest. After that, well, who knows. Well, we all know what that roar means. Mercurio have rot? Oh right, he equipped the poppet. Which gave him rot, which caused him to die. So I'm still gonna count it as a win for myself. Also means you won't be able to mess with me. Take heed. Ooh, what did I lose? Okay. I mean, I don't like that I lose the defense, but it's not a big deal because I've got a replacement. Yeesh, it's almost like the King's Guard are outright evading me. Because there's Nona that had Nona, none of them on the path to my quest. Mercurio going for the palace. Wouldn't be surprising if he was. Okay, I'll take that willed weed. And head for my quest. And I'll just hit the dungeon. Alright, that'll do it.
Okay, then. There's a very real chance he's going for the palace again. And there really isn't anybody near enough to be able to take him down. Not without some serious luck. <laughs> Although, Darkness. I could play Wield's Warning to him. It only costs one magic. If he is truly going into the palace, and that's assuming he doesn't have an AP booster like Strat uh, Strategist or Hot Rod Wine. Then I could play Wield's Warning to him. Come morning, he'll be attacked by the King's Guard. Then again. I wouldn't even need to do that because he's got the turquoise ring. But, turns out he's not going for it. Ooh, this is not good. Because I got these two guys, they go after me. That would be my fastest route to my destination. That is unfortunate. Oh well, luck had to run out eventually. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna burn these two because I'm just not gonna use them. May as well get rid of Cub's blood, because again, not going to use it. I'll hold on to the rest and roll the die. Oof. Not a good roll. Well, I'm dying come morning. No, wait, I'm dying right now. Which is actually much worse, because then I have to deal with the rot reduction in the morning. Oh, well. So be it. Sucks even worse, because my next quest is pretty much on the exact opposite side of the map. Suppose I could draw, uh, try drawing from... Spell deck, maybe get a banish or a teleport. It'd certainly help me out. Killed the King's Guard, huh? Well, that's gonna put Fang in the lead on this one. Which means he gets to make all the big decisions. Bang goes down, but what is he hoping from this dungeon? Well, probably the same thing everybody else hopes for. Nothing bad. Hmm. 
There's Halberd, not a bad weapon. Though there are certainly better. He's taking the chance despite the intimidation, which, given its fang, you know, not the worst of ideas. Yeah, even with that, he's still got more dice than Bane. Yep, nope, Bane's a goner. He certainly had better luck than his brother. Ooh, so close. Just a little more tip, and you would have gotten that sword. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. I am king. <laughs> Alright, Fang, what you got for us? Yes, that will do nicely. You know what? I may as well take my chances on this. It'll suck if it's a right of wield and not, say, a Bane Blade. Or, not Bane Blade. Banish. But if it is a Banish, I'm willing to bet it'll take me over here. Now, unfortunately, because it's two spaces away, that'll only leave me with one action point. But I can still hide out in the forest. Uh oh. Though I may not get the opportunity. Well, let's see what Mercurio's got. This may or may not be the end of the game. Because even if that is a banish, and it does take me here, I'd still have to get very lucky. Well, luck be a lady tonight. Luck will not be a lady tonight. I know I could have maybe saved that, uh... Saved the wield warning and use it on him, but unfortunately it's daytime, which means it'll switch over to nighttime, and the King's Guard don't move at night unless a special King's Order is given. And even then, it would still have been a waste, because he has evasion. So, unless he gets extremely unlucky against the king, it might just be over. And 
Banes don't go after the palace. Probably because of the whole king being a black heart, which means he's always corrupted. And they don't attack corrupted creatures. At least that's my reasoning for why they never attack. Alright, Mercurio, let's see what you got. He's either gonna beat the king, lose to the king, or cause mutually assured destruction, which means... Hmm, I have no idea who's currently in the lead in prestige. I think it was Fang? You dare confront me? Having that royal shield is just going to make it less and less likely that the king's going to get any misses from it. Yeah, no. It looks like Mercurio's won. on with 1 HP. I... Yeah, Fang would have been the prestige winner on that. Oh well, credit where credit is due. He did do good at the game. Oh well, let's see what we got in our cosmic chest this week. I think that might just give me enough to transmogrify. Yep. And another map beyond. Let's see, how many of the rares do I have? Yeah, nowhere near enough. Well, with that, we have come to an end for this episode of Armello. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit the straw poll link, that long, straw poll link to vote for our next Let's Play, which current votes stand at 3 for Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition, 1 for Hard West, 1 for Prey 2017, and 0 for Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching!